going to do something a little bit different with this um, and try a voiceover on this segment. Um, <clears throat> I mounted the camera and you can see the shadow of it on the back beam and it's showing you what the back two gains are doing as I'm moving along here. I'm not cutting very deep, uh, about an inch, inch and a half. And since the soil has got so much moisture in it, it's not really turning it that well. But at least I'm getting some of the surface residue uh, cut up on this. So we're out there finally. Um, land's not dry, but it's dry enough that I can get over it without getting stuck. So kind of happy. <laughs> This time I've mounted the camera uh, in the middle of the frame facing the front two gains. So this gives you a view of uh, just what the front two gains are cutting over on that surface residue. And you can see how little I'm actually disturbing the soil, but I'm, I'm getting a pretty good cut on that uh, surface residue, which is the objective of what I'm out there doing uh, to break that up. I was fortunate enough that, um, like I was saying, the grounds dried out enough that I, I got over it with the tractor. I did have one little place um, late in the evening before I quit and came in that uh, the tractor got to spinning and wouldn't pull and I had to raise the disc and hit the positive traction to get on out of there. But anyhow, it's just a different view of what you can do with a magnet mount and a microphone to lay some voice in over top of it. This time I put the camera uh, still down in the frame but up in the front looking back. So you're seeing the back side of the uh, front gains and then the front side of the back gains. And gives you a pretty good view of cutting up the surface residue as I'm moving along. a 
little wet right here. I'm starting up a hill. Listen to the engine. I don't know if you heard that or not, <coughs> but I'm already running at about the top of the power curve. I didn't touch the throttle and uh, let that little thing pull right on back up the hill. Drop off in this wet spot, you can hear it. working to get up the hill, but you came out of the wet spot with just a good, solid pull. Well, Mr. Sun's going down over there, and it's getting cold out here. They get serious about going up there and hugging that muffler. But, uh, you can see we started down there at the meta strip, and I've gotten all the way across to all this. Got a little odd shape up there to deal with where I've got that rye in that spot where the nematodes went crazy. And I think what I'm gonna to try to do is finish up this little narrow strip right here where I'm going down to the edge of the ride, turn around, coming back up here. And that spot down there is still too wet to get in. If I get over there, I'll probably end up getting stuck, so I think I'm gonna stay out of it. But uh, let's see if we can cut this little bit up right here and be done for the day.